Aloha. You're watching F5 On Demand. I'm Peter Silva, Technical Marketing Manager with F5, and we're here at the MGM Grand in Vegas for IBM's Pulse 2012 conference. Now I have Nojan Moshiri again. Thanks for joining us again. Now, all week, uh, in our earlier video, we were talking about SSL offload, and there have been a ton of questions about it with folks coming by the booth. And you might know that SSL offload certainly will reduce the load on the backend servers, but we thought it would be interesting to get a little deeper into SSL offload and also show you just how easy it is to configure on the big IP device. So, take it away, Nojan. Oh, thanks, Peter. Um, the SSL offload is essentially a scenario where we're taking the certificates off of the Maximo servers and moving them onto Big IP. Like you said, that really allows us to reduce server load, increase performance. So instead of needing 10 servers, you may only need three. Especially today with 2K keys being required mm -hmm. uh, for all, almost all industries, we're able to offload that save CPU resources, and really create a more optimized situation for customers. Now, I get a lot of questions about, this must be extremely difficult, it almost seems like a black magic. So, <laughs> let's just do a quick demo on how you do SSL offload. That'd be great. I'm going to switch to a big IP I've got running in my lab, and you're looking here at the SSL certificate list screen. Yep. That's the first step. We're going to take the certificates off of the Maximo servers and import them into big IP. Our big IP understands exactly the same formats that all, all of the industry does. So we're able to take our certs and bring them right in. How does that work? You hit the import button. You select whether you're importing your key or the actual signed certificate. So you're going to do this twice. We're going to import the key and then we're going to import the certificate. Okay. That's it. We also support certificate revocation, all of the standard PKI but uh, most people don't have to worry about that. And, and this whole process has gotten a lot easier from version, uh, from version nine going to version 10, it got a lot easier, and now everything, version 11, it's just pick and choose. Absolutely, everything always gets easier. In fact, uh, with IAPS, we've automated some of this, yep. but people with certificates want to have control, they want to understand exactly what's going on, and this is what, what happens here. Yep. So you've got your key, you've got your cert, you're done with that. Like everything on Big IP, the next step is to create a profile. So that's just under local traffic, virtual servers, profiles. Exact, exactly. And we have, you'll see here, a client and server profile. I'm going to pick a client profile because we're offloading the portion that's facing the client. Gotcha. We're going to encrypt at Big IP and then we're going to pass that traffic unencrypted to Maximo. Now if we wanted to re-encrypt, we would also create a server profile and more on that later. So you have your cert, you have your key. We're going to create the profile. And you'll see right here, asking you for your cert, asking you for your key. You select the key that you imported. You select the, the cert that you imported, the key that you imported. You have your profile, that's it. And then if you uh, and scroll, then, scroll down a little bit. Oh, sorry about that. That's okay. Well, let me just show this okay. here too. This is my demo box here. At this point, all we do is pick our Maximo target and apply that profile to it. That's it, three steps for SSL offload. Wow. And we're talking an amazing amount of CPU reduction. Three easy steps. Yeah, and so yeah. I, just wanted, I just wanted to show, if you scroll down, it's as simple as, you know, uh, go up a little. Just to show, it's you know real simple. You just you you fill in the name. You you choose the drop down boxes, yeah. and then everything else is optional in this case. Right. And then either you know create or update right at the bottom, exactly. and it's all taken care of. That's it. That's great not, stuff. Not black magic. <laughs> You're just taking the certificates off of your server, moving them onto our device, and managing obviously all on our device. And manage all on our device. And so, what is man? Well, how does uh, what benefits does a company get then from managing the certificates just on the big IP rather than all the various servers out there? Well, think about the offload scenario. Again, let's say you've got 10 Maximo servers. You have to individually manage those certs and keys, so we're talking two files on each of the 10 servers. Let's say that your certificates have a one-year expiration. Yep. 
every year your administrator has to go on 10 boxes, update the certificate on each one, and if you're generating new keys, update the key on each one. Make sure that you haven't gotten anything wrong. Make sure that all the keys and certs go in the right place. It's an extremely error-prone process. I was assistant administrator for more than 10 years. <laughs> I can tell you that I messed that up more than once myself. <laughs> and so you end up with nine servers that work, one that doesn't. Yeah, and you don't know what's going on. And, and then you got to go back, and of course. So one of the big benefits is single point of management. Yep. So there you have it. Uh, how to set up, configure, SSL offload. It's not black magic, it's the big IP white magic. Yeah? Exactly right. <laughs> well put. So for Nogen, I'm Peter, and we're with F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.